them down is not an option. My name is Kayla Cox. I'm from Kinston, North Carolina, and we were one of the areas that was um, more heavily hit by Hurricane Matthew. After the storm, as the water was rising, I did have an opportunity to help evacuate some of the folks from my hometown on the southeast side that lost everything, whose homes were completely flooded. Some of the students that I teach in my hometown also lost everything. They were put out of their homes. I was able to help in the shelter and see the need that was there, the people who didn't have enough supplies for their children. There was a shortage of food. There was It was overcrowded in the shelter, and I was just able to see firsthand the devastation that that storm created. So in hearing that there was a special session where they were gonna discuss relief effort of how to help these folks in my hometown and in other towns, I knew how important it was for me to be in that room and hear the decisions that they were gonna be making and see what relief and what help they were gonna to give to the folks in my town. So in the first three days of a session that I'm sure shouldn't have lasted more than maybe a day, we heard very little discussion of what relief they were actually going to give these people who still two months later do not have homes they had very little discussion of what relief they were actually going to give these people but had plenty of time to talk about everything except that so on that third day that we were there i watched the people around me demonstrate and make sure that their voice was heard i heard them scream loud enough that it would go through the door through those glass walls and doors where they were down on the house and make sure that they could hear their discontent and their anger over what decisions were being made and what decisions weren't being made. And I watched or I listened as the representatives on that floor that night called us kindergartners, a mob, lawbreakers. So that next day when I had the opportunity to make sure that they could hear my discontent in the middle of all of the horrible decisions that they were making, the lack of actual relief that they were giving to the people, to my students in my hometown and to the folks that I know, I wanted to make sure that they could hear my, my discontent and my anger. So I screamed and even when they put the, hand, the handcuffs on me, I still walked away chanting forward together and not one, one step, step back. back. And I promise any opportunity that I get in the future, anytime I see that it is necessary, that it's gonna be productive, that it will bring the right attention to sessions like that and to decisions like that, I have no problem throwing my wrist out again and doing it again. Yeah.